Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan and today we're going to show you guys how I make my closures look like frontals. So first we're going to start with moisturizing the client's hair. Okay, so as you can see this is a regular 4x4 lace closure. I previously bleached the knots and I plucked the hairline. So what we're going to do now is cut the side tabs off on both sides. And we do this so the hairline can look as natural as possible and give you that frontal look that you want. So now we're going to take our closure and we're going to position it on the hairline exactly where we want it to. And you're going to get your client to hold it. And we're going to use this as a guide for our braids. So what I'm doing now is parting off a section in the top. These braids specifically will be going straight back. The rest of the braids will be going straight down. And you will see this further as the video continues. So now we're going to take this section and we're going to braid it straight back. And now we're going to take these braids and we're going to break them straight down and connect them into one another. After you finish your last braid, you're going to take it and you're going to sew it onto the coral rose. And now we're going to take our got to be glue in the yellow tube and we're going to slick back the edges. And then you're going to take your blow dryer and you're going to lock those edges into Now we're going to take our mango clump treatment grease and we're going to moisturize the scalp. You want to make sure you moisturize the scalp before you do any install. And now we're going to take our new cap and we're going to place it on the client's head and you want to put it way in front of the hairline and over the ears. 
And now we're gonna sew down the sides and we're gonna sew it around the top where the closure will lay. You will see further. Now we're going to cut out those ear tabs and then we're going to take our got to be glue gel in the black tube and we're going to place it on top of the cap exactly where we want the closure to lay and we're going to also take our blast and free spray and spray it on top of that. After that the client will go up on the dryer for about 15 minutes on high. She is now back from the dryer and we are cutting off her cap as close as possible with our shears. And then we're going to take our foundation and we're going to match the client's cap with her skin. We're going to also take that same foundation and place it on the closure as well. Now we're going to take our free spray and we're going to spray it on the closure and we're going to spray it on the cap and then blow dry. This is so that the makeup doesn't interfere with the adhering process. Now as usual, we're going to take a cotton ball and we're going to clean the hairline with 91% alcohol. You want to make sure you get all that excess makeup off, any dirt, any oils, because if not, the closure will not stick. Well, it will stick, but it won't last long. Make sure you clean the hairline good. And then after that, we're going to blow dry it. And then we're going to take our bone hose skin protect spray. We're going to spray that on the cotton ball. We're going to clean the hairline with that as well. And that's just going to protect the skin from any glue. Because sometimes this glue can be real strong and it can break out your clothes. So you want to make sure you use the skin protect. Now we're going to take the closure and we're going to position it a little bit in front of the cap. And you're going to get your client to hold it and you're going to sew down the sides. And then you're going to sew down the back.
Now you gotta section the closure out your way. You gotta take your bow hole active. You gotta apply your first layer and you gotta smooth it back using that empty popsicle stick. Today we are using Body Wave Hair, it's from AliExpress, I don't remember the vendor, my client always picks out her own hair. We're using a 26 inch bundle, 24 inch bundle, and a 22 inch bundle. So while your first layer is dry, you're going to proceed to um, sew in the tracks. Our first layer has turned completely clear, so now we can apply a second layer. You want to make sure your layers turn clear before you apply another layer. We're going to dot that along where exactly where we put it last time. We're going to smooth it back with the popsicle stick again, and then we're going to go back to sew it in the bottom. You want to do this until you have completely applied three layers, and then you're going to put the closure down.
Okay, so now all three layers are dry and we're about to proceed to lay our closure down. You want to make sure you do not super stretch this closure while you're laying it down. If you stretch it beyond the point that it naturally wants to go, once it dries, it's going to slowly slide back and come up. I've had this mistake happen so many times. So that's why when you store your closure down, you want to make sure you put it a little bit or even like a lot in front of where you want it to lay. Just in case you're so tight like me, it doesn't slide back like once you want to lay it down. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Now we're going to take our blow dryer on warm and we're going to melt that into place. After that, we're going to section it out the way. We're going to take our 24 karat gold slate by joining silk wraps, which are available on my website. And we're going to tie it down so it can further melt while we finish sewing in the bone. We are now done sewing in all the bundles. She's gonna go up under a dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes on warm. And then when she comes back from the dryer, we're gonna take our wrap off and we're gonna comb out the hair and then we're gonna proceed to cut the excess lace off. To cut the excess lace off, I normally use an eyebrow razor. It just gives my hairline a more natural look. But I also use the shears and the eyebrow razor, whatever works best for you. Now we're going to section off a thin row in the front for our baby hairs and we're going to cut them about one to one and a half inch. Today I'm going to show you a new method on how you can lay your baby hairs using the mousse. I learned this method from Miss Erica Che here on YouTube. Shout out to my girl. So once we get done cutting those hair down to the length that we want, we're going to take our Apple G mousse and we're going to take our edge brush comb and we're just going to smooth those edges into place. Now, as she says in her video, you want to work fast and you don't really want to force the baby hairs. But y'all know me, I'm kind of heavy handed and um, I be forcing it. So yeah, my lace does lift up more than likely every, every time. But once you lay it back down with the wrap and you put it up under the dryer, it's going to go right back into place and you won't have any problems. But yeah, try not to be rough.
And I love this method because it just gives a more natural look to the baby hairs. Because when she comes back from the dryer, we're gonna comb them out. And it's just, it's just gonna look so laid and slay. Under of Miss Erica J, we're gonna take the hair, we're gonna put it out the way, and we're gonna take her Jackie Butterfly Garden Silk Wrap, and we're gonna place it over the baby hairs, and we're gonna tie it down tight, and we're gonna place her bun to dry for about 20 minutes. She is now back from the dryer, and as you can see, it is melted. <laughs> so now we're gonna take our um, oil serum or like a heat protecting serum, you know, silicone based. And then we're gonna place it over the hair, it's gonna loosen up the mold. And we're gonna also place a little bit on the baby hairs as well. This is just help it be easier to comb out. Now we're gonna take our hot comb and we're just gonna smooth back the closure exactly where we want it to lay. This is my favorite part, combing out the baby hair. And as you can see, sometimes I may pluck out a few pieces if I feel like it's too thick. You know, you just customize it to your liking, to your client's liking. So now we're going to take our Care Care Wax stick and we're going to smooth it over the closure and then we're going to flat iron it, the top of it. The flat iron I am using is the Babylist Pro Prima 3000. And y'all, this flat iron is the motherfucking truth. But anyway, back to what we're doing. Yeah, we're just going to smooth out the closure.
Now since this is body wave hair, we have flat out the hair, the top of it straight, but the bottom is body wave. And my client wants to keep her hair body wave, so we decided to wave the top. Today I'm using the Bedhead TG Wave Artist, and we're going to actually crimp the top. We're not going to crimp it as hard, because you know, body wave isn't such a harsh wave. But we're just going to crimp it softly, and then at the end we're going to run our fingers through it. So now we're going to take our Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray and although this is a heat protector, it actually adds a gloss to the hair so I use it for like a oil sheen <laughs> but anyway we're going to take our fingers and we're just going to run it through the hair and as you can see it is laid and that is so beautiful She is definitely melted As you can see my client loves her hair Let's give a full 360 of it Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells. I'll see you later. Make sure you check that description box for more details. Goodbye.